13 things kids did in the 1980s that would shock kids today. 1. Called in DJ requests to tape their favorite songs. Obtaining a specific song required real effort. You had to call a radio station and get through. Then you just had to hope they'd play it. You had to press rec at the exact moment. All this meant you spent hours listening to the radio. 2. Walked around with Walkmans. Portable tape players were a real status symbol. Today's kids would probably consider them bulky, but you also had to lug around all the tapes. That's not to mention spare batteries. 3. Woke up early to watch Saturday morning cartoons. Over 20 million viewers watched them in the 1980s. There was no on-demand streaming. If you missed an episode, you might never catch it again. 4. Stayed home alone. Kids were often left alone in the house. There was no law against it. Mom could be out shopping or seeing her friends. The kids would get up to all sorts of hijinks. In 2015, leaving kids under 12 unsupervised was outlawed. 5. Rented videos. The joy of finding the video you wanted was real. So were the pains of asking your folks for the money to rent it. If you failed to rewind the tape, you'd be fined. Most video rentals in the US are now out of business. Blockbuster shut down its last 300 stores in 2015. 6. Played dodgeball. This game was as fun as it was dangerous. The goal was to eliminate the other team by hitting them with balls. Most schools have removed it from the curriculum. 7. Road bikes without a helmet. Bicycle helmets just weren't a thing. Knee pads were also rarely used. In fact, 1980s kids would have laughed at the suggestion. A bike required zero equipment to ride. You just got on and pedaled away. 8. Ate peanut butter at school. You won't find it in today's school cafeterias. Peanut allergies have made it a liability. But in the 1980s, no one cared. 9. Made prank calls. Caller ID has made this venerable pastime obsolete. Even more, prank calls might lead to lawsuits. Back then, all it took was a landline and lots of free time. Now prank calls require serious hacking skills. 10. Went to the library. Checking out books required real skill. You needed to find the specific index card, so you'd flip through card catalogs. If you found it, the librarian had to stamp it with the date. 11. Road cars without bucking in. Kids would often sit in the middle of the front seat. Car seats already existed in the 1980s, but they were very much optional. Some parents never even taught their kids to strap in. In rural areas, children would ride in the bed of a pickup truck. No cop ever pulled them over. 12. Skim TV listings to see what was on. The TV listings were absolutely vital. Otherwise, you risk missing your favorite show. If you had cable, flipping through the listing was a real chore. The worst thing was not finding anything you wanted to see. 13. Walked to school by themselves. There were crossing guards in the 1980s, of course, but they weren't all that numerous. Many elementary school kids biked to school. They'd ride down the highway every day. No one batted an eye 